Matt, we went on the road and got two wins on the road in the Northwest Conference, which is always a challenging thing to do. Uh, take us back through the games at Willamette and George Fox. Well, uh, the game Friday night against Willamette was a great challenge for us. I thought uh, Willamette came out and, and played you know, really, really well. Uh, they had individuals step up and play at a level that they hadn't, uh, hadn't shown to date and as a group. Um, I, I think probably played their best game of the year. So to be able to withstand that on the road and, and persevere through, uh, through a tough challenge like that uh, was a great opportunity for us to grow and, and, uh, and, and fight through and, and, and pull it out in overtime. Um, I was really proud of our guys uh, then you know, moving forward to Saturday with a quick turnaround, uh, being able to, uh, to, to refocus, uh, to, to be... Uh, the more energetic team at the start of the game. I think we jumped out to a 12-2 lead against George Fox and um, showed great maturity in, in, uh, in executing our game plan on Saturday. It's a true cliche. You learn more about yourselves as a team from those harder games. Uh, talk about why that's so. Well, I think, uh, you know, to, to get where we want to go, you're going to be in games like that. And uh, to be able to to have some experiences that allow you to play through that and uh, to show your mettle and, and pull together and uh, be able to to execute uh, down the stretch. You know, I think with uh, just over a minute to go on Friday, we, we had to get a stop, uh, then score and get another stop in order to force overtime. And that's exactly what we talked about in, in the timeout, and uh, it's a situation we practice in, uh, you know, in, in practice all the time. And so our guys uh, felt comfortable and confident, but. Uh, until you do it with the lights on and, and the game on the line, um, it doesn't have quite the same significance. So to be able to pull that out um, is, is great for us. This weekend coming up, we're going to see two teams that are playing good basketball, Pacific Lutheran and Puget Sound. Uh, talk about style of play, what we expect <coughs> to see from those two squads. Yeah, you know, uh, PLU got off to a really fast start this year. They return a, a lot of players from last year and, and know their system well. They're, they're a veteran group and have great guard play. Uh, they have an interior presence, so they're well balanced. Um, and they always played stingy defense and, and give themselves a chance to, to be in every game. So uh, we know we're going to face a, a tough battle on, on Friday against them. Uh, UPS is playing their best basketball of the year. They're really on a hot streak right now, and I've uh, started to, to find an identity uh, with a, a lot of new pieces. And Coach Lund has had that that program uh, in the playoff race year in and year out. So uh, it's a great, uh, great opportunity for us to to get back in the field house and, and play two quality programs.